Shout out to all y'all dudes subscribing to my other channel, Brooklyn Arcade. You heard when I'm playing basically crack era arcade games. You feel what I'm saying? I'm up to almost 200 subscribers already, man. Now I mean, I'm moving out here. You heard? Z-Man, Suicide Polo with the Ski Man running around the hood like He-Man. Get at me. Y'all be bucking out on some of these old Rikers Island articles I be digging up, bro. You got to sit down and read some of these articles in the New York Times. Like, it's a lot of stuff that happened on Rikers Island, baby. Come on, bro. Four inmates shot on Rikers Island. Shot with guns. Not the slang term for getting cut actually shot with guns on Rikers Island. Whoever got that story out there, holla at me. I needs that. And this is crazy. Second inmate killed in Rikers Island in one week. I think this was from uh, 1990, I think. But come on, bro. Some of these stories is crazy. And that's a fact, man. So, you know, it's not to be taken as a joke, man. I mean, it's a lot of gruesome things that took place on that island. He had that ice pick, you know what I'm saying? So he wound up sliding up on homeboy like he was going to fight homeboy. Homeboy threw up his hands to fight and ball just poked him. Boop, bop. So boom. Boxing ball. Before before he got into that shit with Jose, this is where I, the, this is where I think the animosity came from. Cause I, the way I was going to break it down, before that boxing ball shit happened, you know what I'm saying with Jose, you know what I'm saying. Um, ball had um ball had poked a nigga, another dude up, you know what I'm saying. But and and I, I believe that was the shit that started like the animosity with 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 Brooklyn cats, you know what I'm saying. Even though ball is from Brooklyn, ball. Ball wasn't ball was ball bed and ball and slaughter bed. They 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 had their beds in the middle. They had their beds away from the Brooklyn dudes. You know what I'm saying? All the Brooklyn dudes had their beds in the front and they was rocking together. You know what I'm saying? You had Ball, you had um, Jose, you had Low, you had um Bless, you had um Jersey, you had um um another dude, I forgot his name, you know what I'm saying? But they was all doing everything together, you know what I'm saying? And I know like when I, I told the story the first time, I had a dude in the comments, the dude low in the comments talking about, you know, um, niggas wasn't under preem and all that. I, no, no, I didn't say that dudes was under preem, you know what I'm saying? Um, Everybody was their own man in there, but it was, it, but preem ran the house. When it came down to the jacks, those was preem jacks. Everybody knew that, you know what I'm saying? So, I, like, I didn't know where, um, like, I, I wasn't putting out there, like, like everybody was under preem, you know, you know what I'm saying? Because you had the Brooklyn Cats in there doing their own thing. Lo all the names that I just named. But you had Slaughter and, and Ball. They slept closer to where I slept in the back. You understand what I'm saying? And you had Dusty. Then you had, um, then you had my, um, then you had Brooklyn Mike. You had Brooklyn Mike, Slaughter, and, um, and Ball that slept together. And, and they, and they, they, they rock with the Brooklyn niggas up there, but they was doing their own thing. You know what I'm saying? So boom, one day some dude came in. And remember I told you, the CO, you, you could shoot five minutes. You know what I'm saying? So niggas asked to see it. It was a knucklehead dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude was kind of diesel. You know what I'm saying? He, he, was, he was going out. He wanted to fight somebody. You know what I'm saying? So I think, I think niggas, niggas robbed him when he came in. So he jumped up on some, um, yo, niggas, um, niggas. I, I, I want a fair one and this and that, that and this. So make a long story short, Ball picked Ball picked the, the fair one with him. You know what I'm saying? So boom, Ball went to went to the I mean the CO they went to the middle, did the five minutes. Ball did the nigga dirty. Boom. Now the nigga bed was right in front of Ball. You know what I'm saying? So now after the fight, later on that day. N niggas is antagonizing the dude, like, you know, because he lost the fight or whatever. Ball fucked him up. Ball ain't knock him out, but Ball fucked him up. You know what I'm saying? Boom. So now the nigga, the nigga started talking mad shit to Ball again. You know what I'm saying? Now, boom. But before before I say what happened with Ball and this dude, I'm going to say about my man Dusty. Now, my man Dusty, he was from Harlem. You know what I'm saying? My man Dusty. So my, my bro. That's, that's who was basically I was fucking with in there. You know what I'm saying? 
You had you had Preem, Bam, all them niggas. Everybody was was un, was rocking with Preem and the Bronx team. I was part of the Bronx team, but I really wasn't under niggas like that because, like, I n- I never had that in me to just be following niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I always I was I'm not a hardball nigga. I'm not a nigga that go against the, the against the shit. But I'm the nigga. I always did my own thing. You know what I'm saying? And. I ain't with that following shit or that Doja shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, you had some niggas that was playing Doja, and you had some niggas that was following. Then you had some niggas that was just, you know, um, being taught the game, you know, how to be. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I took whatever I had to take from Preem and and and, 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 and different and, and old red and different dudes that I was around, Dusty and different dudes that I was around. You know what I'm saying to make to make me know how how I had to handle that shit on the album. You know what I'm saying in 1991. And everybody like I heard heard a lot of stories a lot of stories about people going to Mar 9 on your channel. And much, a lot of them stories are, you hear a lot of them dudes getting ran out. You know what I'm saying whether they name brand or not. There's only a few dudes that ain't get ran out the nine, and that's just how the nine was. You had to be a real nigga, or you had to be going. You had to, you had your shit had to be respected for you to be in there. You just couldn't be in a nine. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So now my man Dusty, he was he was the coolest dude in there. Baby. He's one of the humblest dudes in there. He was from Harlem. He was on, the, on on like the second bid right there. He just got locked up. He just came from up north from doing the two to six. Now he back locked up for some. I think he got caught with a hammer or whatever. So boom, my man Dusty is the only small one that was working in the mess hall. Everybody in, in the dorm, everybody is going through the, 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 the fucked up treatment. Of, they, they took, they got our phones took in because every day um lads a nigga get cut in the nine when I was there. Every day a nigga got cut in the nine. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Because at least two or three niggas come to the nine a day, new. You know what I'm saying from one of them houses out there. Whether it's the New Jack house, whether it's the Bing, whether it's um. Uh, uh, the program house could they get in trouble they send their ass to the nine and it's a whole different ball game depending on who you is now I done seen niggas walking the nine from out the bank and nothing happened to them them niggas get the red carpet out to them I done seen niggas walking the nine and niggas get ran right the fuck out you heard I done seen niggas walking the nine and don't even walk in them niggas be like yo I ain't going in there they try to refuse but it ain't no refusing the nine that's the last stop on the alley on the floor building the nine so the COs which Come in, tell us, yo, we got a dude that don't that don't want to come in. Get us all hype. Go out there and get him. The nigga, leave the, leave the gate open. We all go out there as a house. Go pick the nigga up. Put the nigga up in the air like how niggas be doing in football. Had the nigga in the air walking the nigga back in the house. And we put the nigga right, right in the middle of the floor, right in front of the phones. And everybody start beating the nigga ass. You know what I'm saying? Nigga start whipping his ass. And then when the nigga laid out, can't move. Well, he can move, but you know, like niggas, niggas ain't, niggas ain't, niggas doing them dirty. But like it's like, like the CO is there too. The CO, he watching the shit from his bubble. You heard? And then he come back in. He's like, now, you, now, now you can't be in the house. You know what I'm saying? That's that's how you, that's how you get out of mall now. You know what I'm saying? When I was there. You know what I'm saying? So, or, or the dudes talking about they got ran out, I believe them. They got ran out. You heard? Everybody couldn't live in the nine. So now my man Dusty, he was the, he was the smartest one out of, out of a lot of dudes in the nine. I, Cause there was there was a lot of killers in there, B. That's where to my mother, man. Everybody had a body, guys. Everybody had a body, man. I was the only nigga in there for some petty shit, and some other two two or three other niggas in there for some petty shit. Everybody else had bodies. You know what I'm saying? They've been on the island for a long time. Some niggas been on there two years. Some niggas been on there eighteen months. You know how that shit go. So my man Dusty, he was he was the only smartest nigga to go work and get a job in the mess hall. Now I didn't know why he really got a job in the mess hall. He got a job in the mess hall to get his time off the out of the mall nine but that nigga went to got a job in the mess hall so he could arm up because my man dusty used to always tell me he's like yo lad i don't like cutting niggas i like stabbing niggas you know what i'm saying i like stabbing niggas. so I, he used to always tell me that but it, it was a while before he put me on so one day i'm i'm sitting on his bed we talking war stories he telling me mad war stories about because dusty got me about by, by about three years about two two or three years so he he telling me mad war stories or whatever whatever so then he's like he like yo come on let's go to the bathroom i'm gonna show you something so we go to the bathroom he show he pull out he, he do a little digging under the under the um under the toilet and under the sink and shit, wherever he was at. And then he, he, he come out with an ice pick, you heard? 
I'm looking at this shit. I'm like, yo, this shit look like a New York ice pick, B. This shit was crazy. You know what I'm saying? He was like, yo. I was like, I'm all open off the one ice pick, bugging out. Like, yo, 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 you got this shit? I said, yo, Prem, everybody know you got this shit? He's like, nah, nobody know I got this shit. You the only one I know I got this shit. So don't say nothing, B. Don't tell nobody nothing. So, boom, he's... He seen how open I was on, on the ice pick. He said, guess what? I said, what? He said, I got three of them. You know what I'm saying? I was like, three of them? He's like, yeah, B, don't say nothing. So I said, all right, I ain't, I ain't saying shit. So boom. Now, the only reason why I told you that story is because this this plays in the part with Ball. You know what I'm saying? Now, Ball beefing with the dude, back to Ball, beefing with the dude having a fight with the dude that um that came in that was a little rough and tough. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to tell you the truth. When you get a dude that came in that was rough and tough in the at, uh, in the nine, dudes, all the tough dudes that be cutting dudes and all that, they don't really step up to the really tough dudes like that. You know what I'm saying? Because they they might see something in that dude. They might say, I ain't, I ain't really, they might not really fuck with that dude like that. They might not be eager to fuck with that dude like that because they because they might they might might see that that dude got some hand skills with him, you know what I'm saying? Or he got some bravery or some bravo with him. So, you know, a lot of them dudes be cutting dudes, they be sneaky dudes, and sometimes and, and most of them dudes be sneaky dudes, you know what I'm saying? So now, so now, so now, so now, um, so now, so now, the, the boy and this dude is beefing, beefing after the fight. The dude is beefing with Ball really because he he mad that um he getting ridiculed because niggas is shitting on him or whatever after the fight or whatever you know what I'm saying so so he so niggas is mad that he, he getting ridiculed so he his bed is locked right in front of Ball him and Ben him, him and Ben Ball beds he was on he was on Broadway and Ball had a window a window bed you know what I'm saying so he was on Broadway in front of Ball and Ball had a window bed so he was a, he, he was getting mad at Ball like bringing that shit back up so Ball. Ball wound up, I don't know how he did it. I ain't even know when he did it. He wound, he had that ice pick, you know what I'm saying? So he wound up sliding up on homeboy, like he was gonna fight homeboy. Homeboy threw up his hands to fight, and Ball just poked him, boop, boop. So boom, homeboy, um, Ball ran off, you know what I'm saying? Went, um, niggas got homeboy, niggas talk, yo, homeboy, get out of here, B, yo, yo, you better get out of here, man. Yo, you better get out of here. So boom, as soon as he went to the, um, to the CO, to the bubble, Tell them niggas that you know he he couldn't stay there. He had to get out of there. Something happened to him. Um, the the police pulled the nigga in the A and B to, in between the A and B gate. So boom, the nigga the, the nigga wound up passing out out there. So everybody run to the bubble, like run to the um window of, of the A and B gate. Like oh shit, son passed out. So boom, everybody run back to their bed. Niggas niggas is like oh shit, that shit bugged out. Niggas everybody watch that shit happen like nothing. So the next thing you know, like later on that day. Word of my mother, the motherfucking warden came, man. At first the turtles came. The turtles came, gave us a crazy search down. Boom, boom, did us dirty, put all our, our com- took all our commissary, stomped it out. Um, took everything extra that we were supposed to have. Um, pillows, blankets, everything. Had us, had us naked in that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Then, then the fucking warden walked in. The warden was like, yo. I'm the warden of the whole Rikers Island. Yo, I'm hearing, I'm hearing that this this is the worst house in the building. Y'all already CMC, cause they already made them CMC. And it's like when they made them CMC, we really was niggas really was cutting a nigga every day. Cause any nigga that came through that door that wasn't people's, niggas was getting cut. Niggas was getting sent up out of there. That's word of my mother, man. I seen niggas get cut for nothing, man. When I say cut for nothing, I'm talking about cut for nothing. I'm just talking about just coming in the, in the dorm and you not people. Be. You understand what I'm saying? And you got something that niggas want, niggas is raw when you cutting you and getting you out of there. You heard? And niggas is doing that because we don't cause they took our phones, cause they took our TV, and we ain't going nowhere. We we can't go to we can't go to the gym. We can't go to no motherfucking where. You heard? They barely let they can't even let they even let niggas go to, to the law library. You know what I'm saying? So boom. So 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 that's why that's why a dude was getting cut every day. It wasn't like just a dude was just getting cut every day because it was the wildest house. No, dude was cutting a dude every day or sending a dude out every day 
then they brought in there because they took our phones, they took our TVs, and they took all that shit from us. You know what I'm saying? From every time a nigga get cut, they take that shit. So niggas, are, niggas, we, we young adolescent niggas, so niggas will be like, all right, when a nigga come through that door, if he ain't people, that nigga get sent out of here. You know what I'm saying? And that's how we was handling it. And that's why we was becoming the worst house in the building. And that's why the COs was worse, was, was threatening all the dudes in the four building, I don't know for what house you was in, they was threatening them dudes, talking about you, you don't want to go to the nine. The only niggas that probably wasn't scared was the dudes that was on the alley keeping it official, that was already keeping it official. And they and they gonna come to the nine, they gonna know everybody in the nine already. You know what I'm saying? So them niggas wasn't scared to come to the nine. But majority of the niggas in the building was scared to come to the nine. And, every, and even niggas in the nine knew that. The nine was was the most notorious house on the building in 91. Yeah, but I'm hearing the nine was, was crazy all the years, but I was there when it was CMC. I'm not hearing nobody, it wasn't CMC. When I first got there, we used to go to the mess hall. We made it CMC by jumping off on the Delts, jumping off on the Brooklyn side, jumping off on Mall 4 up with the Lux in them. You understand what I'm saying? That's how the Mall 9 came CMC. 1991, October, I believe. You understand what I'm saying? Now, boom. So now, the warning coming, he's like, yo, I'm hearing this the worst house, and this and that, that and this, this and that. I don't give a damn. Y'all could cut each other up all y'all want. Y'all could cut each other up all y'all want. But I want that ice pick. I want that ice pick. Now, the reason why he said ice pick, because he don't know it's three of them. But, you know what I'm saying? He said, I want that ice pick. So boom, so niggas, niggas ain't, you know, niggas ain't giving them nothing that, that you know, as he's talking and nothing, boom, 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 boom. So now, they come... Right after he left, remember I told you the, the turtles came and they searched us before he before he came. Yep. They they searched us after he left. You heard? Searched us after he left. Boom, came and searched us again. We or, they already did us dirty. They did us triple dirty. You know what I'm saying? Boom. So then the next day they came again, did another search down. You heard? So boom. So niggas. So so, so I don't know how it happened because I never talked to Dusty, but. My man, I don't, I think, I, I don't know uh, if Cream or one of them in the house went to him and said, yo, man, yo, try to give up that ice pick or something so you get the heat off of us because you see what they doing to us. But oh, my man Dusty was smart about it. My man Dusty said, yo, he went, he went to, went and gave up, gave up the ice pick, you heard? And, um, and they, and they stopped searching us down and all that, but nigga didn't know that nigga had two more, you heard? My man Dusty, you heard? Then my man, I ran into my man Dusty up in um, Clinton. My man Dusty aired a nigga out, you know what I'm saying, for playing with him, you know what I'm saying? Came out, aired a nigga out in Clinton, right on, right on, right in front of the police, you heard? And he was going to the board the next month, you know what I'm saying? My man Dusty kept keeping the fish, you know what I'm saying? You heard? Shit was crazy, you know what I'm saying? Murder more nine, my man Dusty, one of the humblest dude in the house, you heard, with all them killers, you know what I'm saying? And my man Dusty ain't even have a body, you know what I'm saying? With all them killers, but my man Dusty was the one that had that artillery, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't, a lot of them niggas in there was having half a gym stars, you know what I'm saying? On um, fiberglass, um, shit from out the window, you know what I'm saying? They wasn't having nothing that was really putting in work. My man Dusty had that ice pick work, you heard? The warden came to the joint, said, yo, I don't care if y'all cut each other up all day, you heard? I just want that ice pick, you know what I'm saying? And when, when niggas gave up that ice pick, niggas ain't have no repercussions and nothing. Nobody went to, got in trouble or nothing. And Ball got away with that joint, you heard? But I, I say that to say this. That is what I think started the animosity with Ball with, with Jose and them niggas in, up front because the other Brooklyn dudes, because after that incident, it was like, niggas looked at Ball like he was getting loose. You understand what I'm saying? But nah, man, my man Ball was a dangerous cat, man. He was a dangerous cat, you heard? He always been, you know what I'm saying? And he, he little, and, and like I said, he got his own mind. He don't move behind niggas, you know what I'm saying? I never knew him to do that, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I was with him in two spots. I was with him on the island when I first met him, and I was with him up north. But you know what I'm saying? So he like he, he from Brooklyn, and he repped that Brooklyn shit hard. You know what I'm saying? And like I told you, his man, his right hand man was Slaughter, and him and Slaughter, they had a different vibe from the dude, the Brooklyn dudes in the front. You know what I'm saying? And right after Ball did that to Homeboy, like a week later, that's when that shit happened with him and Jose. You heard? You know what I'm saying? 
and Jose out there, he, you know, I, I you know I had I, I had a little things wrong about how the story started, but the story went down just how like I said it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Keeping it funky, you heard? It was crazy, bro. That Allen shit was crazy, man. That Mar Nine shit was crazy, man. You heard? Especially the side that I was on, man. That's why when I heard Saquon drop that shit, when that that that, you know, that's that's why I reached out to you, lads. You know what I'm saying? I heard that Saquon interview, man. He, you know what I'm saying? He dropped it when he said, you know, when they when they jump Lakey or some shit. You heard? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, man. I, I wasn't there, but I, I know exactly what happened, big. Cause I, I seen that shit done a thousand times, big. I'm telling you, big. Niggas used to come in. It wasn't people's. Niggas had shit. Niggas was get. And, it, and the niggas don't wait. Niggas, the niggas don't give you no time to wait. Like, you know, like some places, like they give you a little time. Like you, you might they let they let you set up, make your bed up. This is nah, b. That it's not like that in the nah, b. Soon as you walk through the door, niggas is on you, b. Yo, b. Where you from, b? Yo, a word, word, yo. Uh, then they sizing you. All they gotta ask you is four or five questions, four questions, and and they already know what they how they gonna come at you. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, niggas already know if they gonna rob, try to rob you. Niggas already know if they go. Yo, word of my mother. Uh, um, you know, I heard, heard dudes talk about Mitchie Love on y'all on your channel. Mitchie Love is my childhood friend. My, my son Mike, you heard? You know what I'm saying? He doing that. He do, he doing that. Um, uh, that um, stop the violence stuff right now. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to Mitchie Love. But Mitchie Love had came through with his co-defendant Germs. Now Germs, I'm gonna show you how strong dudes was on the island. You heard? Mitchie Love, Mitchie Love was in Mars 6, and I was in the 9, you know what I'm saying, with, with all the heavy hitters, June, Puerto Rican June, his co defendant Bob, Low, all them dudes was in there, um, Bam, um, Cream, um, O-Red, um, Ant, Will, Smallhead Mojo, Fat Mike, um, 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 Alpo, all them. But with one day, um, one day I'm, I'm, I'm in there, my man Mitchie come through. So boom, my man Mitchie come through. I know him from the street. So I ain't even go, it, it, we, it, it was y'all going out. So I ain't even go to the yard this day. So I said, you know something, I'm gonna chill back with my man Mitchie cause I gotta let my man Mitchie know what's going on with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Now his co-defendant Germs is in Mall 8 at the time. They just got locked up for they, for they situation. You know what I'm saying? So boom. So now, he, he, I ain't even know my man was locked up like that. So now I'm locked, I'm talk, I'm kicking it with him. So I'm letting him know everything that, I'm, that I've that i been going through with in the nine and shit. I'm like, yo, yeah, but da 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 Y'all been fighting this and that, that and this, but everything cool now. Da 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 Yo, man, da 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 So now, he was like, yo, I'm going, I'm waiting on a visit right now. But da da my co-defendant in Mar 8, da 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 I ain't know his co-defendant, but I heard of him at the time, you know what I'm saying? Boom, boom. You know, so next thing you know, they call my man Mitchie for a visit. Oh, but before they call my man Mitchie for a visit, and all the niggas, all the live niggas in the house, they asked my man Mitchie, like, yo, no. They like, yo, where you from and all that? He's like, yo, I'm from the X or whatever. Boom, boom, boom. So my man Mitchie Love, like, so I'm sitting, I'm sitting on the next bed next to my man Mitchie Love. I'm letting, I'm letting everybody talk to him, like, ask him their they little questions or whatever, the real niggas in the house or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So and, and so he he, he he like that like where you from bro he like he's my I'm from the X he like oh word from the X oh word but no yo what you locked up for but no he like yeah this and that that and this no he like oh word he like you got code of like yeah he got code of like oh word who your code of He's like my code of germs you heard he like yo I swear to my mother lad you see niggas like stopping these tracks they like germs what germs he like. Turn from the Bronx? Like, yeah, my man Germs from the Bronx. Like, yo, Germs came back through? You Germs co defendant? Yo, the life skin short Germs? Yeah, man, Germs. Yeah, Germs my co defendant. Word, man. Oh, man, yo, I ain't. Yo, you just see a whole different reaction from all these niggas now. All these niggas like, yo, Germs came through. Oh, shit, I didn't even know my man Germs is back through. Oh, shit, Germs isn't that wrong. Boom. So now, all of us, I swear to my mother, as they, as everybody talking and everything, the CEO come out, such and such for a visit, call my man Mitchie Love for a visit. So boom, my man Mitchie Love go to a visit. Word to my mother, man, my man Mitchie Love didn't even come back, B. My man Mitchie Love went straight to Mar 8 after the visit, you heard? You know what I'm saying? Somebody else came and packed, packed up his little stuff that he came with, you heard? That's word to my mother, that's how strong Germs was, you heard? 
You know what I'm saying? When he came back to the building in 91. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That shit was crazy. What do you I mean? He sent, he sent for his co-defendant? Mitch, Mitch, he went on a visit. He was only in a nine for about an hour, bro. You heard? But that's the type of reputation the nine had. You heard? The nine had a reputation that niggas ain't want to be there, B. You know what I'm saying? So Jones must have heard that Mitchie got sent to the nine. And while Mitch was on a visit, Jones got him pulled to Mar 8. That's how strong Jones was. Because, you know, he was on the island already for, for, for a missile. You know what I'm saying? So and, and, and he got around a missile, they said. So whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So now he was back. You know what I'm saying? So so he, he was strong. And plus, I heard Jones was strong because him and Ron Dew was good like that. And I, I, even, I even heard Ron Dew saying on your platform, you heard? You, so I knew that was official. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, the, I, you know, you know, it was, you know, the Ron Dew on my platform is the one from Brownsville. Yeah, it's two Ron Dews too, right? Yeah. Yeah, one is from Uptown that went down with the whole, you know, all them shit. Oh no, no, oh, no, no. oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's really a few. Huh? But I thought it was two from Brooklyn. It, yeah, was, it is another. If I'm not mistaken, it was another Ron Dew. That's older. That's 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 back in the essence now. If I'm not mistaken, but oh, the Ron right. doing my platform is the one that was on in the floor building in ninety ninety one type yeah. of vibes. Yeah, cause I know when I got there in ninety one, I was hearing about a Ron Do. You heard? Yeah, that's that Ron Do from 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 my hood. The other yeah. Ron Do was a adult at that oh, time, right. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do. The one from the Bronx was Adele. That, that's the one from um, from Washington, you heard? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, B. Yeah, the nine was the shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Nine was the shit, B. You heard? But yeah, that's how strong dudes was, man. Like, so when I be hearing fruit and all them dudes tell their stories about how strong they was on the island, I know they telling the truth, you heard? You know what I'm saying? And I know the names, you heard? Run out them names, them names been resonating since from when I went to jail. You heard? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, right, man. man. Yeah. You Cause said you got, went to TAF? Yeah, I went to TAF High School. That, but you heard? that was at that wasn't TAF like the wildest one of the wildest schools in the Bronx. What's the wildest yeah. school in the Bronx again? TAF was the wildest school in the Bronx. It ain't, it ain't no, ain't, there ain't too many schools wilder than Taff in the Bronx, you heard? Where that shit go. is at again? Where it's at? It's on 172nd in um, Sheridan. So it's, a, it's So what is a, Webster niggas run the school or like how that shit was going nah, down? It, it, the reason why, because it, 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 got, it got everybody from all the areas, from, from, from Uptown, 240, 183rd, the concourse, then he got all the west of Washington, then he got all the west side, um, the, you know, the west side, and then he got all of my downtown, like, you know, by, by the courthouse section of the Bronx and all that. Oh, oh, so all them sections go to tab. Because um, Bronx don't got, Bronx didn't have a lot of schools, a lot of, a lot of high schools like that, a lot of schools, period. You know what I'm saying? So what year so, you was in there? I was in, I was in tab from 80, I think I was in TAF in 88 and 80. I was in, I got, I was in TAF in 89 and I got kicked out in 90. I was only in TAF from, from, from 10th grade. I got kicked out. My second year, I got kicked out. Why and they, I sent the wall. Why they kicked you out? Because I got into a fight with the security niggas, B. Um, motherfucking, um, security dudes. Um, you know, you know, you know, the, um, the, um, the, um, the metal detector dudes, the dudes that come to your school, the metal detectors, they, they pop up at your school to try to catch the dudes with the weapons. Yeah. Yeah. They was, they, it was a Friday one, it was a Friday, and they was all hanging out in the office. Now, now if you think about it, see, now that we older, it, 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 now I understand it, but but back then, it's, you, you don't really look at it like that. But now that I'm older, you know, all the security dudes was hanging, like hanging in the, paying in the teacher's offices and all that, because you know, that's where all the teachers and all that be at, the counselors, the lady teachers and all that. So they was in their Mac and it was a Friday. They probably, they, they, they already did all their work. So they in their Mac. And, so I got I, I, I got caught in the hallway, just roaming the hallways, because you know how that shit go. After a certain amount of periods, nigga don't go to class, you know what I'm saying? Like after the, like six, seven period, nigga don't be going to class, you know what I'm saying? So boom, 
I got caught in the hallway, so they took me to the office. So they, they got all these metal detector dudes in there. And they, they had to be drinking too because they was too lively, like they was too, too uh-huh. hype in there. You know what I'm saying? I'm keeping it real. Uh-huh. It was a Friday, you know how it is. Man, them, 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 them schools are just like, them schools, them, them institutions ain't no different than than any of them institutions, you heard? They, they, them people be doing what they want to do at work, you heard? You know what I'm saying? So boom, especially back in the days when we was coming up, you know what I'm saying? They was doing what the hell they wanted to do. So it was like a Friday, they was all in there. You Like, you could hear them, you could hear them partying in the office, outside the office. Like, if you walk into the office, you could hear them laughing and joking in there. And then when you go in there, all you gonna see is women and, and all these security guard dudes, you know what I'm saying? Black and Spanish dudes and, and, and black and Spanish um, teachers and counselors. You know what I'm saying? That's in the office. So I went in there. And my my my, um, my dean lady name was Miss Terry. She, she I was a bad kid, so she 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 knew she knew me. She was like my aunt in the, in the school. You know what I'm saying? Like times when I'm supposed to get suspended, I don't even get suspended. You know, I just gotta go in her office for a couple of hours and then she let me back go to go to class the next day type shit. You know what I'm saying? So it, they was bringing me to her or to her at her desk, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, Miss Tay, they like, yo, we found him in the off, I'm in the hallway, uh, uh. so you know she got to play it off in front of them. So she like, oh, I'm gonna call your grandmother, lad. I'm call your grandma. So I'm I'm begging on that little kid. She like, yo, come on, Miss Tay, don't call my grandma. Chill, Miss Tay, I'm be, I ain't gonna be in the hallway. So so all of a sudden, these three um security guard dudes. They, they, they surround me like as I'm talking to Miss Terry, they surround me. So it's like it's like it's like they taunting me, like 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 they ain't saying nothing. They just they just they just play in close proximity of me, like real up on me. I'm like to the point where I gotta be like, yo man, what y'all niggas doing, man? Get up, get get up, get off me, man. Get away from me. So them niggas, that's what they want. They wanted me to um you know show some aggression. So when I showed the aggression. Them niggas started um, manhandling me. Then I started hooking off when them niggas started wilding out with them niggas. So now, oh, you know how to you get into them with them security guard niggas. The first thing they say is, get them on the floor. Get them on the floor. They can't get me on the floor. It's like sick. So now, it's mad at them niggas joining in trying to get me on the floor. But I can't, I ain't getting on the floor. I ain't, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm not trying to let these niggas get me on the floor. I'm going crazy on these niggas. Boom, I'm, I'm going crazy on these dudes. Boom, they finally get me to the floor. Boom, they handcuffed me. Boom. Now they said, yeah, we gonna lock your little ass up. But I was only 15 at the time, so they couldn't take me, they couldn't take me to the Allen or give me a, 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 a charge. So they had to they had to um take me to the prison and let me go. So they, they didn't wanna they, they didn't wanna do that. They wanted to fuck me all the way around. So what they did was they they, they said, we said, we're taking you to the um mental hospital. They took me to um um Lincoln Hospital Mental Ward, you heard? And, and they let they let them let me let them deal with me. So so soon as I went in there, the lady was like, they asked me a few questions. They realized I wasn't crazy. I told them what happened. They realized they realized I, w- I wasn't that type of crazy. You heard? And then they let me go. You know what I'm saying? And then but when but when when I when I went try to go back to school, they was like, nah. Um, Miss Terry was like, nah. You got a superintendent suspension in Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? Suspension in Brooklyn. What's that? She's like, you got to go to Brooklyn. And um, and, and, and what you call it, you heard? So I was like, I was like, I gotta go to Brooklyn. I gotta go to Brooklyn. She's like, yeah, you gotta go to Brooklyn. So Brooklyn I was like, to what? To 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 go to school? No, to the board of education. Remember that they had the board of education on Hoy Street? Oh yeah. They, they had the big building. It's like real court. You heard? It's like real court. It's like real court. You know what I'm saying? And um, they they wound up finding me um they. they um, the security guard niggas put a knife on me. They, you know the, the big 007, the joint that flip out dumb big, the big mm-hmm. joint. Big Rambo joint. Yeah, the big, not the Rambo with the compass on the joint, but the big Rambo shit, like the you're, the regular talking, flip out joints, the but the big shit. one. You're talking about the brown shit with the gold medal on it. Exactly, the, the gold gold medal going through the middle of that shit. You heard? Yeah, that joint, the big wooden handle joint. You heard? They, they said that fell out my pocket when, when I was, when they was fighting with me. You heard? Kick me up. That, you know, tell you the truth, lads, that shit fucked my whole life up. Because before that, I was all I was doing. Yeah, I was running the hallways and all that, but I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't 
going past like that. I still was I was on the JV basketball team. You know what I'm saying? So you know, be on JV, you gotta keep your grades up. You know what I'm saying? You can't be on JV without having your grades up. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Can't can't be on. So that shit. That when they planted a knife on me, it fucked my it fucked my whole my whole joint up. You heard? So what you had to do after that? You had to drop out of school? Nah. I, when you when they send you to a board of education suspension. Don't worry about it, mom. When you get to, when you get to, when you get when you get a board of education suspension, you gotta you gotta you be out of school for two months. You heard? You out of school for two months, and then they send you a letter in the mail telling you what school to report to. You heard? Mm. And they but the, but the worst thing about it is you be out of school for two months. You know what I'm saying? Be out of school. So basically, I, I got suspended in December. I, I didn't I didn't go back to school I didn't go back to school until February and then when I went back when I went back to school February I got suspended again uh, another what, superintendent suspension what what school though you went back to I went to Warren I got kicked out they sent at the time they sent me to Warren I got I got I got I went to all together I went to four high schools bro I went to Taft got kicked out of Taft went to Warren got kicked out of Warren got kicked out um, um, went to went to Morris got kicked out of Morris went to um they tried to send me to Monroe I went to Monroe I was like oh shit I seen all them girls up there I was like yeah I want to go to Monroe but when you get kicked out of school you got to bring the folder with you from your last school you heard and my folders was crazy my folders got weapons in it or oh, every incident cursing cursing um security guards out cursing teachers out all that shit is in your folder so when, when i got the moreau it was like nah um you 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 17 and you you only you only got ninth grade credits you heard you know what i'm saying they're like nah you need to go get your ged you heard at this time you had already been on the island before yeah i've been on the island before you heard i've been on the island, I, I'm on the island when i was 16 you heard and that's I stopped going to school when I was 17. That's you crazy heard? when a nigga go to the island and come back home and try and be back in high school. Mm-hmm. That's yep. shit different. Like you you ain't never gonna be the same. It's like an institution. You're gonna feel like that shit is like jail. Yeah. Or the mother. So and you I said wasn't Taft the same. was the worst out of all them high schools you was in? Yeah. Yeah, because Taft Taft was all about getting busy and, and being crazy. All the other rest of high schools, I learned diff. You know, like Warren was about getting money, and you know, like it was do. It was like a different style of dude. Like all that crazy stuff wasn't what what everybody was into. You know what I'm saying? Warren is where I, I came into myself at. You know what I'm saying? Like where I learned how, how to like like when I was in town, I ain't I ain't, I ain't like I was wow. All I wanted to do was do. But wild, bugged out shit, and be with niggas, you know what I'm saying? But when I got the water, that's when I started getting into girls, good, hard, and you know what I'm saying, and knowing how to be smooth, playing dice, and you know, trying to trying to find my way, you know what I'm saying? But Tab, I was mainly wanting to be down and just wanted to be a part of everything that was wasn't really was supposed to be part of, you know what I'm saying? But. By the time I got the war in, I already kind of like, it was coming to me. I, I, I was figuring myself out. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I already went to the, I, I went to the island in war. You heard? You know what I'm saying? Coming home from that, that shit is crazy. Doing time and coming home. Heard? Right, that's, that shit is different. I, I found that it was the worst. And I, I didn't know it was the worst high school when I was around it. I knew I was. I was in a big. I was in a box up north in, in Napa, and that, and I was reading everything. I had 18 months in the box, so I used to be reading everything: the newspapers, old newspapers, all that. So I, I'm reading. I'm, I'm reading some old newspapers, and, and, and it had it had it on the foot. I don't know if it had it in the it had it in the paper, and it said. Tab, how was high school out there? You heard? I'm like, word, that shit crazy, me. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, tab. And I, I, I'm like, I used to be around that shit every day. And then you feel like that, that shit was the worst high school. You heard? But that's how that shit be. You know what I'm saying? You could be a part of something and don't even know that shit is the worst shit in the world. <laughs> that 
Like I told you, when I was in the nine, that shit was crazy, bro. I'm telling you, that shit was. The, I, I felt, I felt like I was in a mental hospital, bro. It wasn't felt like I didn't feel like I was in jail. I felt like I was in a mental hospital. 